Hi YouTube, I'm back with another tutorial and today we are going to be talking about how to make your own gym water. When you start looking at stones, you notice that certain stones heal certain things. And I came across rose quartz. And rose quartz basically is a stone of unconditional love. So it helps with healing a broken heart. It helps with self-love. It just helps overall with opening the heart chakra. So I started working with the rose quartz. And then one day it's like things just come to you. One day I'm looking at this lady and she's talking about crystals and you know how to cleanse your crystals, how to use. And then I see something about how to create crystal water or crystal essences and elixirs. So I'm like, what's that? And it's like basically to get the, to instantly get the benefit of the stone instead of meditating with it or wearing it on you, you can actually charge the crystal in water under the sunlight or the moonlight. And when you ingest the water, that will instantly give you the healing properties and benefits of the stone. So I was like, I'm gonna try this, it seems cool. So basically I did it. I made some rose quartz water for like self-love and I loved it. I felt so much better after I drank the water. I felt so much more upbeat and happy and light and free. I'm all about being on a road to like self-mastery, self-discovery and self-love. So I was like, on my channel, I wanna show people how to love themselves like real actual love like how you really feel deep down on the inside so that's why today we have rose quartz water and this book is really good because it's like your beginner guide so if you're going to get into crystals and you're like you know i don't want to be overwhelmed this book is really good it teaches you how to pick them how to cleanse them how to charge them how to set up grids like it tells you everything all the beginner stuff that you need to know here's my disclaimer though all crystals are not made alike some crystals are toxic check the toxicity before you put it in water Re i repeat you cannot use any kind of crystal and submerge it in water and drink the water some of these crystals are not safe to drink if you're going to use them and get the benefits from them you need to do the indirect method check the toxicity first you want to research things before you just jump and do them so that's what i did i did my research so i know that rose quartz is perfectly safe and when you do um rose quartz you want to do a smooth stone you don't want to do a tumbled rough stone so like the ones that are in my um Water, they're smooth so let me <laughs> I'm gonna guzzle this so I can show y'all but as you can see these stones right here my crystals they're smooth if you want to learn how to start loving yourself and how to start um, healing your heart space then stay tuned for this tutorial I have this book, The Little Book of Crystals, and you're going to want to drink the crystal water within one to two days because the energy of the crystals only lasts up to one or two days without preservative. You want a glass jar, a small glass dish to hold your crystals in, or like a saucer, two rose quartz crystals. You can use one, but I have two because I'm going to show you two ways to make the water. A bigger glass bowl and another glass uh, jelly jar. The tops to the mason jars and I have some spring water and a spoon. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to cleanse our crystals. And here is the page in my book about rose quartz. So it's gonna give you a little bit of insight. I'm gonna put it under the faucet. So you need to have a sink. Forgot to mention that. I am gonna put this, the crystal dish 
the dish with the crystals in it underneath the water and let it run for a couple minutes. So just let the water run, cool water, or you can hold the crystals underneath the faucet. I'm just gonna let it like, I like to just sit it in there and let it run. And you wanna do this for like two to three minutes. Okay, once the crystals have been running under the water, you can shut it off. So you wanna hold it in your hands and concentrate on it and visualize the crystal be being surrounded by bright white light. So this is the time to pray or meditate over the crystals and you wanna meditate and pray your intentions. So basically all you wanna ask is whoever you believe in um, that your crystal be blessed by the highest energies in the universe Ask that it is attuned to your own unique frequency and is activated for your highest good. Then state your intention for your crystal. For example, this crystal will help me to heal. This crystal will attract abundance and good fortune to me and ask it to work with you in order to achieve it. So I'm gonna do this. I'm visualizing it with white light. I ask that this crystal be blessed by the highest energies in the universe. I ask that it is attuned to my own unique frequency and that it is activated to act for my highest good. This crystal will help me develop more self-love and more confidence. This crystal will teach me how to love myself unconditionally. And I ask this rose quartz to work with me in order to achieve it. So you want to do that. I have two, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is the direct. You take the crystal, you place it in the jar, you fill it up with spring water, and you put a lid over it so nothing will get in it. And you set it in the windowsill and you let it charge. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I set it in my windowsill. And you let it sit in the direct sunlight for six hours. If you don't want to soak your crystal in water, you're not crazy about that. What you do is you take your jar and you take your bigger glass bowl and you put the jar in the glass bowl. And what you do is you pour a little water into the bowl and you place the crystal in the water. Then you also place, pour water inside the glass. And this is the indirect method. And you put the topper on it and you let it charge the crystal in the indirect method the crystal will still charge the water in the glass because crystals can charge through glass the energy will still get it so then that's how you do that and you can sit that in the windowsill or you can sit it out in the direct sunlight if you have a patio so either way, so I'm gonna come back in six hours and show you finished product. Okay, so it's several hours later. And if you did the direct method, all you have to do is take your glass, open it, get your spoon, clean spoon of course, scoop your crystal out and then you can just put your water in the refrigerator if you'd like or you can drink it as is if you did the indirect method same thing all you need to do is just scoop the crystal out of the water 
and you're just gonna pour the water in the bowl out and then same thing you can put this in the refrigerator to chill it or you can drink it as is that is how you make your own crystal gem water it is totally safe for consumption it tastes good it tastes really fresh I just want to say thank you to everyone for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or I want to say suggestion videos, comment below. Um, and also, let's keep the conversation going. I want to know what do you guys do to love yourself? Are you on a self-love journey? What are some things that you do to show love to yourself and to show self-care? Comment below. Let's keep the conversation going. I want to open my channel up to not just looking good and having nice things to wear, but also working from the inside and working on feeling good, feeling better, feeling good in our day to day. People always tell us before you love someone else, you need to love yourself, but they don't tell us what to do. What does self-love look like? Okay, sis, I want to start loving myself better, but how do I get from point A to point B? What do I do? And, you know, that is what my whole journey has been about. I would say that crystals are a big part of that. Like, they definitely help. I definitely feel better. I definitely feel lighter. I have a more productive day. Um, crystal water makes me feel good. So, you know, try this. See if this works for you and rose quartz are completely safe and if you are interested in anything that i have on in this video um these earrings i sell in my etsy shop so i will link that below and to everybody thank you for watching this video um and i'll see you guys later so bye bye guys